how to resolve the 0xC00007B issue on Windows. It can be incredibly frustrating to attempt to start an application or game only to receive an error message like the program couldn't launch properly 0xC4x07B. Click OK to close the program. Thankfully, it's entirely possible to fix this error code. Let's understand first, what triggers error code 0xC4x07B. Typically, this Windows error arises due to damaged application files. It might also occur as a result of a clash between 32-bit and 64-bit software versions and Windows operating systems. This error code typically accompanies a notification that reads the program couldn't launch properly and prompts you to shut down the application. In most instances, the error persists no matter how many times you attempt to launch the specific app or game. Fortunately, there are a few methods to address this issue. Resolving Windows Error 0xC4x07B, 6 Techniques Depending on the exact cause of the problem, there are several approaches you can apply to solve this error. To simplify the troubleshooting process, we'll begin with the most straightforward solutions and progress to more advanced ones. Solution 1. Reboot your PC. One possible reason for encountering the aforementioned error is a minor glitch in your PC. In such cases, rebooting your PC may resolve the issue. Frequently, rebooting your devices can resolve many problems. To restart your Windows 11 or 10 PC, open the Start menu, select the Power icon, and choose Restart. Once your PC restarts, attempt to launch your app to check if it functions correctly. Solution 2. Update Windows. Another common reason for the appearance of the 0xC4x07B error is using an outdated Windows version. Older software versions often lead to various issues, which you can resolve by updating your system to the latest version. If you're using Windows 11, you can verify and install the latest updates by opening Settings, via Windows Plus I, selecting Windows Update on the left, and clicking Check for Updates on the right. Solution 3. Run your app with administrator privileges. Certain applications require administrator rights to operate correctly, and yours might be one of them. In such cases, launching your app with admin privileges could resolve the 0xC4x07B error. To do this, locate your app's shortcut, right-click on it, and choose Run as Administrator from the menu. In the User Account Control prompt, select Yes. Your app will now launch. If your app functions correctly in admin mode, consider making admin mode the default setting to prevent future application issues. To achieve this, right-click on your app shortcut and select Properties. Within the Properties window, go to the Shortcut tab at the top and click the Advanced button. In the ensuing window, enable the Run as Administrator option and select OK. Back in the Properties window, click Apply followed by OK. That's it. Your selected app shortcut will now consistently launch with admin privileges. Solution 4. Reinstall Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable packages are essential for the proper functioning of various installed applications. It's possible that one or more of these packages have become corrupt, causing problems with your apps. To address this, start by opening Control Panel. You can access Control Panel via the Start menu by searching for Control Panel and selecting it from the search results. In Control Panel, under Programs, choose Uninstall a program. On the subsequent page, you'll see a list of all your installed applications. Locate and take note of the names of all Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable packages. You'll need these names when you reinstall the packages. Next, select a package and click Uninstall at the top. In the User Account Control prompt, choose Yes. In the window that appears, click Uninstall and follow the Uninstallation wizard. Repeat the above steps to remove all of these packages from your system. Then, restart your PC. Once your PC restarts, open your web browser and visit the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable site. From there, download the latest packages and install them on your computer. Afterward, launch the app to check if it functions properly. Solution 5. Uninstall and reinstall your application. One potential reason for your application failing to launch is the presence of faulty core files. These files can become corrupted due to various reasons, including interference from other applications and the presence of viruses. An effective way to address these issues is by uninstalling and then reinstalling the application on your PC. This process will remove the app's existing files and replace them with functional new files. In Windows 10, access Settings and click on Apps. Locate the app you wish to remove in the list, click on it, and select Uninstall followed by uninstall once again to eliminate the app. Dot. After removing the app, restart your PC. Then, double-click on the installer file for your app to reinstall it. 
Solution 6. Repair Windows Corrupt Files. Similar to your app's core files, the core files of your Windows system may have become corrupted, leading to issues with launching your apps. In such cases, you can utilize your PC's built-in system file checker, SFC, tool to identify and rectify corrupted files on your computer. This tool operates independently, automatically detecting faulty files on your PC and replacing them with functional ones. You can utilize this tool through a command prompt window as follows. Launch an elevated command prompt window on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. You can achieve this by opening the start menu, searching for command prompt, and selecting run as administrator on the right. In the user account control prompt that appears, choose yes. Next, enter the following command in the command prompt and press enter. This command instructs Windows Update to provide your PC with the necessary files to repair the corrupted system. Consequently, the command may take several minutes to complete. Once the command finishes execution, run the following command to scan for and repair corrupt files on your system. After this command completes, all your corrupted files will be repaired. With these steps completed, your 0xc4x07b Windows error should be resolved. You can now enjoy using your favorite app on your PC. So guys this was how to fix 0xc4x07b error on Windows 10 or 11. Hope it will work for you if you have any issue regarding this video or any other tech related problems, ask me through comments I surely will reply back. Also if you are new here I request you to subscribe my channel your one like can make my day and motivate me to make such informative video. Thanks guys to give your precious time, see you soon in next tutorial. Have a good day.